Hello, if you are watching this, you've been having problems with Cold War and Modern Warfare, maybe even Battlefield, like some newer AAA titles, you would start them up, and then it would just fucking reboot your computer. Don't know why this happened, this happened to me after the newest update. So the problem is, don't wipe your PC, like it's not missing any drivers. Um, the problem is, is you need a BIOS update. So in order to update the BIOS on your computer, you have to go on whatever website, and yes. Okay, if you know how to update the BIOS on your computer, Click off this video. I'll leave a link in the description on how to update your BIOS. If you have a B550 UDAC motherboard, please keep watching because finding a, a link for that is almost impossible. So let's go ahead and boot up CPU-Z. As you can see my in my main board, it says Gigabyte and then B550 UDAC motherboard. Uh, this motherboard is only for pre-built systems. So if you look on the Gigabyte website, it will not show up. Which I think is complete fucking bullshit. If you manufactured the fucking... I I'm getting pissed because I spent hours and hours looking for this shit. If you have made the motherboard, why the fuck is it not on your website? It's a pre-built system. It's supposed to... Like, I know a little bit about... I know way more about computers now than I did before. And I'm still new to this shit. Um, so... Pre-built systems are made for people who don't want to make their own computers, who don't want to build their own computers, and who don't want to go through all the bullshit that you have to. They just want to get the computer, plug their shit in, start it up, and have it work. So if something goes wrong, like a BIOS update, it should be very fucking easy to fucking update it. Uh, why do I have to spend hours and hours trying to do this shit? And I know there's a lot of people who have bought the computer that I did, and they're going to run into the same issue that I did eventually. So what you have to do is I have a link in the description to a fucking amazing person who found this out. Uh, so the first guy here, he says to put this, to use the same um, fucking shit from here. This didn't work for me. You can try it. You can try to update your BIOS through here. Um, however, I did not have, uh, it just, it didn't work for me. It gave me an ID error. Um, so you want to go ahead and hit BIOS and then, you know, the latest one would be F15Z, a C, my bad. That'll be the newest one. So that didn't work for me and I'm not going to fucking sit here and try all the different versions. So what I ended up doing is scrolling down a little bit more and then, uh, this guy, fucking genius, anxious assignment. Uh, he's a fuck. He's fucking amazing. He figured it out because he bought his computer through CyberPower, um, which is amazing. If you you don't need to have a CyberPower PC, I don't. Mine is developed by Skytech, so it doesn't fucking matter as long as it says Y1 in the top right hand corner. Like it'll have a little white sticker with black writing. It says Y1 on it. As long as it has that, you can go ahead and use this. So you can go ahead and try the newest one. So it says B550 UDAC and then F4B. This is the newest one. Just go ahead and download that, put that on a drive, and then you can go ahead and follow the tutorial that I have down below. I'm gonna go ahead and pick a very short and concise one. Um, most of the, the updating the motherboard is pretty straightforward, but uh, going through your BIOS is a little bit of pain in the ass if you've never done it before. Anyways, um, so there's that. I hope you guys have a good rest of your day, and I hope you don't have to fucking wipe your computer like I did. I didn't have to wipe my computer, but I did, because it... I thought that was the issue. I thought, because uh, my screen was flickering, so I assumed that I would have to uh, wipe it. But I actually did not have to end up wiping it, which is good. Anyways, uh, hope you guys have a good one. See you later.